Okay, we've got a little bit limited time here. We've got like a minute. I've been trying to drag this out of people. And, you know, I'm, I'm having some success over here. I haven't had a lot of help for the rest of the class. Uh, we got this function. We want the equation of the straight line through the t equals 10 and t equals 20 points of the graph. Now, it's been suggested to find the fundamental triangle. That's not a bad place to start. Okay? I would have started by finding the points so you could find the fundamental triangle. But if you know that finding the fundamental triangle involves finding the points, it doesn't really matter. So that's perfectly good as long as you know to do this. Well, we, lay, we, we mark a couple of points to represent these points. And we've got 10 f of 10. What do we mean by that? That means 10 and plug in 10 for t. Okay, t is 10. Well, we've got 100 here, so we've got 0.8 minus 20 plus 200. Uh, I think that gives us 180 point 0.8, okay? And then we have the point 20, f of 20, that's 20. Now 20 squared is 400, it's going to give us 3.2 um, minus 40 plus 200. Uh, so I believe that's going to be 163.2. You can check me on that, it's probably wrong, but yeah. there's a possibility I'm right. So assuming these are the points, what do we do next? Well, we can construct a fundamental triangle. That's perfectly okay. Now we're going to get a fundamental triangle. We're going to get a rise of going this way, negative 10, negative 10, well the run is 10 rise is negative 17.6, so the slope is negative 1.76. Now that we've got all that information, we might as well extend this line down to a point x, y, and construct this fundamental triangle, which will have a slope of, I label the things but we're out of time, the slope is going to be x minus 20. Yeah, it's going to have x minus 20. That's going to be the denominator. Um, y minus 163.2 over x minus 20, and for the line y minus 163.2 over x minus 20 has to equal negative 1.76, slope equals slope. We can solve for y to get y equals mx plus b form, and that's going to work, okay? That's the way that you're not totally familiar with. You could also take the coordinates of these two points and plug it in to y equals mx plus b. You get two simultaneous equations with unknowns m and b, and you solve them. You can solve those equations. That's not, that doesn't involve laws of exponents or anything. Okay? Or into the form ax plus by equals 1. Solve for a and b. You can do that. Okay? That should give you no problem at all. Okay? That's three ways to find equations in a straight line through these points. Now, there are things that we can do with this. Okay? There are interpretations because that tells us something about how fast the water is flowing out during that time interval, okay? Uh, the equation of the line, in this case, isn't particularly important, but in other applications of quadratic functions it is, okay? So I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of that with quadratic models.